I'll tell you about my PlayStation experience. Story time. So first, the first thing I actually want to do is just actually show you that it, it, it works, right? So this is my capture card. I'm going to turn the PlayStation on and reveal that it is back to working status. So I've even got the controller. Uh, that's the RetroTink scan lines. Let me fix that. So I've got the new... Uh, where's my camera? I got the new Defender controller for the PlayStation, which is cool. So I broke my PlayStation last stream on Monday. So yeah, Dino Crisis. So my PlayStation's working. It's loading games. The X Station works. I th so so what what happened? So this is just evidence that is currently working, right? So what happened in last stream? Do you guys know what an ODE is? It's an optical drive emulator and. They tend to be boards where you can swap out the CD-ROM on an old console for an SD card style or hard drive loader um, so that you can load your games from digital storage. And a lot of those, the SD card slot is right on the board and the board kind of sits lower often than the actual um, CD-ROM you know, the optical CD-ROM drive would. And so it can be kind of hard to access the SD card slot on these mod chips boards. One of the things they've been talking about on Twitter is you want to remove the resistor. There's a, like, pull-up, pull-down resistor on these SD card extenders. So you buy a, an extender um, and use, like, a 3D printed mount. I'll show you what it looks like on the PlayStation, actually. So here's the PlayStation, and inside, I've got an SD card slot in like a 3D printed mount. This, this is where this, the optical drive used to be. And there's a ribbon uh, extender that goes from here to the, the actual board, the mod board. And there's a little resistor on this cable, on this SD card cable, that you pull you, you want to pull off because it puts too much stress. Um, it pulls down the resistance and it puts too much stress on the X station. So I, I went to pull off the resistor off this cable. And I'm going to open this up anyway. So maybe maybe I'll just show you the inside. Okay. So here's the inside of the PlayStation 1. Um, this is the 3D printed mount for the SD card holder. Okay. And here's the, here's the X-Station board. Inside of this 3D printed section, I got to take this out so that you, you get a very clear picture of what went wrong. This guy on the mod, this thing needs to be protected because um, it is possible, and I proved it, to accidentally short... I'm going to pull the SD card out using this metal housing on the SD card extender. In order to boot into the X station, the CD lid has to be registered as closed, which is a little button here that you have to push down to do that, but you can't do it with your finger. So I was attempting to put the lid back on, and this fell, and somehow when it fell, because the power was on for the PlayStation, it shorted against something on the board, either the chip or one of these caps or something. I, I don't even, it was because it wasn't wrapped under, under like this too. It was kind of like out. And it fell and the metal side shorted against the chip or some kind of something. It, and this, the 7 volt rail of the PlayStation 1 is used to feed the board and the X station mod. And what happened is I caused a short on the 7 volt rail and I shorted one of the uh, um, fuses. Let me take this out so you guys can get a better look of what I'm talking about inside. Okay, so let me show you what happened here. I'll use them. I'll switch to the microscope. 
is our main. This is the 8 or 7.5 volt rail. It comes in right here. I am a total, total noob. I don't know anything about electricity. I don't know how to read board diagrams, schematics. I watch a lot of people fix things on YouTube. That's what I do. I don't really understand how to use a multimeter. I really don't know what I'm doing. I wish I did know what I'm doing. I'm learning. That's, what, that's why we're here. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. <laughs> so this guy right here, apparently... Looks like I melted this a little bit with the soldering iron at one point. Probably trying to get this shielding off. Um, this right here is where the 8 volts come in from the power supply. Power supply cable, right? And then it, I was sent, I'll put it up on the YouTube version. I was sent a um, schemat, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's basically the line of where the components are on the seven volt rail and I couldn't find them all they, they see how the board is labeled it says c611 here this c611 is this little capacitor resistor I don't see I don't even know what everything is but it's this component here so I tested that that tested okay um, then I found out that this guy is on the seven volt rail so this l601 uh, and this guy, the PS601. So all the 601 components and the six components seem to be somewhat related to the seven volt rail. So I, at first, I, this was reading funny. So I have a working, I have a couple other working PlayStations. So I took, I swapped this with the other board um, and didn't change the behavior. This one was also reading funny on this side. Um, so the multimeter was showing me differences on these two I was just getting different readings between this and this compared to the working board so I swapped those and that didn't resolve anything so then I plugged the console into power and powered the board up so something was dragging the 7 volt 7.5 volt line the 8 volt line to down to like 2.4 which is not good so the power wasn't passing through properly so I, uh, I replaced this, I replaced this, no changes. So I plugged the console in and I was just looking for where the seven volt line was good and then when it changed. And I saw that seven volts on these three fuses was good on this side. I had seven volts, seven volts, seven volts. But this side, I had seven volts on this one, but I had 2.3 on this one and I had seven volts on this one. And I was like, okay, I found it. It's this fuse um i thought it was a filter at the time but it was this fuse and here it is so here is the fuse i had to take off this is like a 50 cent piece of tech that stopped my playstation from working just that this this broke my playstation this little fuse and and as you can see it, it's absolutely tiny like, <laughs> it's very, very small. If you guys want to know how to fix this, if your 7-volt rail gets shorted from the X station, shorting out against something, plug it in, put your multimeter in voltage mode, and make sure you have 7 volts on both sides of all of these fuses. And then replace the one that's bad. You can get these off of AliExpress. I'll actually link that in the YouTube video in the description. Um, so you guys can buy them. Um, I pulled this one, the bottom one, off of my working PlayStation from the, the donor. Um, and put it here. They're all the same. As you can see, they're also labeled CCP2E20. Um, my crazy story. This is the most complicated fix I've ever had to do. <laughs> I'm not good. I, I'm I'm only I only know so much about what I'm doing. I don't really know that much about what I'm doing. I don't really know. I had a lot of help. So Robert on the on the X Station forums pointed me in the right direction. And a lot of the YouTube videos that I've watched helped me kind of where I've I watch it I watch uh, fixing YouTube videos. There's not a lot on YouTube. So I watched, I watched 
I've watched pretty much all of the ones from the like the people I really like um, when they come out. So yeah, I am. I was like so happy when it turned on. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 